All right. So I've said in the past that, frankly, Advent is a challenging time for preaching because there are a few mandatory themes that need to be touched upon um, every time uh, Advent comes up. So it can be a little tricky finding something unique to say. But wouldn't you know it, uh, last week Friday, something Adventy happened worth sharing. And it actually touches upon one of the most important parts of the holiday season for me. Peace on earth, goodwill towards men. That's huge. I mean, it, it really is just being decent to one another. It is all too easy for us to ignore the significance of goodwill toward others and to ignore the significance of its opposite, casual cruelty. So last Friday, um, I had dinner with people in Milwaukee and we had a fine time. And we all uh, headed on back home around, I don't know, 8.30 or 9. And um, that's not the best time and place to be on the road. You know, Friday night driving in the city, eh, greater chance than usual that drivers are gonna be tipsy or aggressive. And my drive home was, was northbound, uh, 30 miles an hour all the way, uh, stop and go driving, tons of red lights, not exactly the safest part of the city, but hey, what can you do? And my drive home started off on the wrong foot as well. See, I, I had parked my car uh, on a, uh, a quiet little one-way street. And uh, parking my car and then coming back to my car, there wasn't a single other moving vehicle on the street either time. So I kind of figured I had the whole place to myself, so to speak. And um, pulled out of my spot. And my, my GPS didn't work. It didn't, it didn't get going right away, so I braked. And I tried to get my route going before moving along. And again, I did this because I thought I was completely alone. But wouldn't you know it, there was a car behind me right there in my blind spot. I didn't even see his lights shining on my car. So after a few seconds, he just honks the horn really aggressively. I'm like, oh, sorry, sorry, man. Pulled back into the stall, you know, let him pass by. And as he did so, he just screamed at me. Like, really aggressively and with very foul language. Apparently I had committed the uh, unforgivable sin of delaying him eight seconds. So it was, it was a shame that happened. It was disproportionately aggressive. And so I, I drove home feeling sheepish and small because that's what happens when you're exposed to casual cruelty it hurts your feelings. So, 10 minutes later, I stop at yet another red light. And uh, out of the corner of my eye, I see another car, you know, pull up to the red light right beside me on my right. And it's a, it's a black guy driving this, this big old truck. And it feels like he was just towering over me in my little Volkswagen Beetle. Um, and I, I didn't make eye contact with him. I looked away I'm like, Justin, don't be weird and creepy. Keep your eye on the road. Wait for your green light and just get home. So I'm there waiting for my green light for about five seconds. And then wouldn't you know it? Hey, hey, man. Yep, yep. He's not yelling at another car. He's yelling at me. Um, so I look over and he... Uh, he had rolled down his window and he was waving, trying to get my attention. So in the, that next split second, I figure out, well, he, he doesn't sound angry. He's not yelling at me. He's trying to get my attention. So I thought that I had like a flat tire or the gas cap was off or something. So I roll down my window, look over to him, and he just points at me and goes, God bless you, man. God bless you. <laughs> I mean, you can imagine my surprise, right? <laughs> Well, what happened was he, he, he saw my cross dangling from my, uh, my rear view mirror. And with his free hand, he was holding up a cross of his own that he had around his neck. So, you know, I, like, I, 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 yeah, I, God bless you too. Thank you, man. God bless you. <laughs> you know, he, 
I was thro so thrown off base by him. <laughs> I, I actually like like jumbled the responses uh, because he actually said, the Lord be with you. And I go, and your spirit be also yours. <laughs> like, it is hard to get those responses when you're under the gun, huh? <laughs> well, needless to say, I was in a much better mood for the remainder of my drive home. It canceled out that first thing that happened, and I was just floating home on good vibes. And that, brothers and sisters, is a sample size helping of peace on earth, goodwill towards men. You know, it was a simple act of faith-based kindness shared between two total strangers. And uh, after five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, a thought popped in. And uh, it's a thought that I think a lot of you have had yourselves in moments of unexpected joy, relief, or peace. Sometimes I call those <sighs> moments. So I'm driving down. <sighs> Why can't life feel this good all the time? It's a big question. If you get down to it, it's actually a pretty scary question. Why can't life be this good all the time? We certainly don't have time to answer that completely today. That would involve original sin the nature of humanity and uh, uh, existence as we know it. So hopefully you'll accept a shorter partial answer for today. There are many burdens in life that are no one's fault. People just get cancer. It just happens. It's, it can happen to anyone. Floods happen. They destroy homes and other uh, um, other things in its wake, and there's not really all that much we can do about it. So we know that. We all know that there are things like that in life. But there are a ton of burdens, perhaps the majority of burdens in life that are ultimately the the, that are ultimately caused by us, by human beings. Because we don't even try to nurture that sense of peace on earth, goodwill towards men. Yelling at one another and putting one another down is a better way to get a quick emotional high. But that's all it is. Casual cruelty might feel good, but it's a quick rush. Peace on earth, goodwill towards all, that is not a quick rush. I mean, it takes more work, it takes more maturity, but that is a lasting joy, and it is easily shared with other people. And life would be so good, so much more of the time, if we all put more of an effort into extending that peace on earth and goodwill towards others. When we actually try to be good to one another, our whole day, brightens as a result. Maybe even our entire future brightens as a result. So, as we're gearing up for Christmas, it's Advent for the next month or so, at least. Keep that in mind. Peace on earth, goodwill towards all. Say good morning to your neighbor. Be extra nice to that poor kid working the drive through at Taco Bell. In all likelihood, he's overworked and underpaid. <sighs> Share a pleasant memory of Christmases gone by with your family. And maybe, if you're brave enough, say God bless you to a random person waiting next to you at a red light. You just might be the highlight of their whole day.